guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another first impressions review for a foundation. Today I'm reviewing, reviewing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation and this is in the shade Y205. Now this is supposed to be a very, very pale shade. I think the name shade rather than the number is called Alabaster. Um, so it's meant to be neutral toned, um, so either cool or warm toned skin can wear it, which I quite often like wearing a neutral toned foundation even though I'm a little bit more cool toned. Um, usually I like the way that looks on my skin. For example, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 110 Porcelain is very neutral and I quite like the way that looks on my skin. It sort of neutralizes the pink a little bit. Um, but I also wear Too Faced Born This Way in Snow, um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 0.5, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10, uh, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Ivory Light, um, what else do I wear? Alamesca Skin Base in O2. So that's some references for you. If you're any of those kind of shades, or if you know those shades are sort of light enough for you, then um, hopefully this foundation is also as light as that. So the claims that this foundation has is that it's created for the very latest high definition technologies for film and TV industry. Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye. Perfect for the makeup pros and for you. Ultra HD foundation feels like a second skin but still provides medium coverage and the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural and comfortable makeup. The fluid texture blends in seamless, seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify the skin's texture. Great for all skin types and features a full range of shades to cover all skin tones. Now I definitely agree this has a huge range of shades available um, and they have three different kind of very pale shades. The one I've got here, the Y205, this is the Alabaster shade, but they've also got one called Pink Alabaster, which is for very cool toned skin, and then Yellow Alabaster for very warm toned. So it's really great when they cover the undertones as well as the paleness. A little bit about my skin type as well. I have sort of normal to oily skin. I tend to get like a little bit oily like around my nose, some open pores, but generally my skin's kind of normal as well. So I guess the idea behind this foundation is going to be something that's very natural looking on the skin. I'm expecting it to be kind of similar to Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, which is quite undetectable. Um, also, the Too Faced Born This Way was quite undetectable if you only put one layer. Um, so I'm hoping it's sort of in line with those sort of foundations. Now the packaging for it comes in a nice sleek plastic bottle, which I actually quite like the fact it's plastic. It's very lightweight and it's good for travel. And it also comes, oh, it's got a pump underneath, <laughs> underneath the cap. There's a pump as well, which is really easy for use. To apply it today, I'm going to use my normal EXO Beauty round face brush. And I'm not going to apply any primer either because I don't normally use primer on a day to day basis. Now I've just put some on my finger, as you can see it's quite runny so I'm going to shove it straight on my face because this is extremely liquidy makeup. Um, very very similar in texture to the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Well this looks so light, this looks extremely light. I wonder if this will end up being too light for me, that would be hilarious. This is blending in really beautifully. Um, I can definitely tell it's lighter than the Born With This Way Foundation in Snow by Too Faced. Um, it's a little bit more in line with Illamasqua Skin Base um, and the Marc Jacobs Remarkable in terms of colour level. They all suit me, the shades, but this you can just tell when something's just a tiny bit lighter. So if you prefer your face to have that really ethereal porcelain doll-like appearance, then this kind of shade is better to use and if you want something that's a little bit more natural like a little bit more warmth to the skin then those slightly deeper shades can look good but it's funny because they all match it's just they match differently it is looking extremely natural on the skin as well in terms of like the finish it looks like skin texture it just reminds me so so much of the Urban Decay Naked Skin formula so this is what it looks like on just blended out one layer. It was just a sort of pump-ish of this, but um, it's just a single layer. It's definitely medium coverage. I can still see the little like sort of freckles peeking through, but it's certainly perfected my skin really well. And it's done a pretty good job of covering 
like pimples and stuff, but I would definitely go in with a concealer. Um, I just love though when foundations claim to be a certain coverage level and actually are. It always annoys me when products are like super full coverage and it comes out medium. Like at least this product is claiming to be medium and it is medium. So that's a super big thumbs up for me. I think the colour match is phenomenal. I think it definitely is right smack bang in the middle neutral. As you can see it's actually neutralised a lot of the pinkness in my skin. And my neck and my chest are actually quite neutral. Like, and as I've aged, like, I'm 25 now, and I remember a few years ago, I was definitely a lot more pink, and I'm starting to neutralize out, which I've seen in my mum's skin as well. My mum went from a cool toned skin, she's pretty much more warm toned now, and as she's gotten older, so I feel like my skin's gradually going to actually lose its pinkness over time. But yeah, I'll zoom you in so you can see a little bit of it, or what it looks like on my skin texture. Still see those little freckles peeking through but the skin texture looks really quite good. I'm going to try layering it up a tiny bit more just to see how it layers. Hopefully it works and doesn't ruin it. I'll just do another sort of half pump amount. Pop a little bit more on my cheeks. Maybe along my nose and on my chin. Don't like putting too much on my forehead or else I find it really settles in my creases. And you can see the technique I'm using to apply it. I find a little sort of slight pat, strokey sort of way of applying it with like downward strokes but you're kind of patting it in at the same time. I find that really works well with these kind of brushes um, and this kind of liquidy foundation. Anything really creamy it works better to buff in circles but when it's liquidy I find it better to kind of pat it in almost. So this definitely layered quite well, although it definitely starts to look quite foundation-y as you layer it. Very similar in the way that the Born This Way by Too Faced like, looked quite natural with one layer, but then as soon as you add that second one, it definitely makes it pretty obvious that you're wearing um, a foundation. So just keep that in mind, but I think the coverage level I got for one layer was quite great, especially considering it calls itself a medium coverage. It's not claiming to be full coverage in any way, but it certainly does cover really really well so I'm very very happy so far I'm just really stoked about the color match too I just think it's so so beautiful and pale yes it doesn't look too pale like in in real life it actually looks like my skin tones quite phenomenal so now I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll check back in with you after that so this is what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on I will check back in with you guys in a few hours it is currently 10 o'clock in the morning so I will check in with you it'll probably be around about four because I've got a few rehearsals to go to so I'll see you then so it's currently quarter past four and I've now had this makeup on for about six hours or so and I'm really really impressed as you can see it still looks really good it hasn't broken down or anything and I've just spent a couple of hours in a very warm environment on a stage we had a rehearsal a dress rehearsal for our concert tonight so it was like really really hot with the stage lights and we were being made to wear our concert dress as well so you're all in black and you do definitely build up a bit of a sweat so from what i can see it's held up pretty well um especially like around my nose as well my nose got a little bit runny on the way home like as i walked home and um it didn't really break away or anything there if i used a tissue to wipe my nose and it's still looking really nice on my chin as well yeah, it actually looks really, really flawless. I'm really stoked. I'll zoom you in so you can get a better look of my skin texture. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea. You can see, I can still see my blush and my contour really strongly, so it definitely hasn't worn off in any way. Um, yeah, it's just looking really nice. But yeah, so far my thoughts are, I'm really, really impressed. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do another check-in just because I need to eat something and then get back to the theatre to do our performance, and then by the time I get home, it's going to be really late. So. I do imagine it's going to hold up very well. I will let you know and I'll put a little extra clip in the video if something drastically changed. Um, but my first initial thoughts are that it's a really great foundation. It has awesome longevity. It doesn't feel tacky at all and there's no transfer onto my fingers or anything. It didn't, yeah, it didn't come away when I like touched my face or anything. And even around my hairline where I was um, perspiring a little bit, it actually stayed intact really well. So I am so happy. I'm also just thrilled with the color match because it is just a really great color for me. Um, yeah, it certainly neutralizes the pinkness in my skin. It doesn't look too yellow or anything though. It's not like NARS Siberia, which is really, really pale, but really quite yellow. So it's quite noticeable on my skin that's yellow. This is just smack bang in the middle, a very neutral shade. If you can't wear Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and 110 Porcelain, if you find that's still just a shade too dark, I would try this shade Y205 because it's the same kind of, it's almost a similar formula too, but 
Um, it's the same kind of neutral tone, but it's just a shade lighter. So I think it just matches me that little bit even better. So I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!